What's up, rock stars? Michael here. On today's episode, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you a video we did a few years ago. And the video is actually called Everyday Rockstar. The name Everyday Rockstar was actually for an idea we had for a reality show a few years ago. We had a little six and a half minute pilot sizzle reel filmed, and it was a lot of fun. But then once we finished it, we didn't really know what to do with it. I started talking to people that had some experience with with reality shows and they said well you know this is cool but if you give it to a network they're gonna want to take it over they're gonna kinda want to control the reality and I wasn't really interested in that so uh, I didn't even think of doing a vlog <laughs> that would have been a good idea but hey we're doing it now so that's okay but I thought it would be good for me to show you this video because it tells a little bit of my backstory okay now so we're gonna show the original everyday rockstar video from a few years ago and here it goes Yeah, yeah. Killer. Next stop, Chicago. Let's go. Let's hey, I'm Michael Cavanaugh, and this is how I got here. My parents bought a piano when I was seven, and they could not get me to stop playing it. I played at my first nightclub when I was 12. By the time I was a teenager, I knew that rock and roll was my life. I mean, just look at my hair. I'm a songwriter, and I love performing my own music, as well as putting my signature on the rock and roll songbook. I got my big break when I starred in the Broadway musical Moving Out. That role got me nominated for a Tony and a Grammy. He's great. He's got iron pipes because he's doing uh, over two dozen songs every night, six nights a week. Now I even get to perform with some of the best symphony orchestras in the world. A few years ago, I released my debut album. And there I am, living the rock star life. Let me take you behind the scenes and introduce you to the guys. Yeah, I'm Greg Peters and I manage Michael Cavanaugh. Everything from start to end. It's card he holds my career in his hands. Uh, I'm Jim Guthrie, I'm the production manager and engineer. Jamie Hosmer, and uh, I play keyboards, I play a little acoustic guitar. Jamie's a really good singer, piano player. Guy makes me nervous. My name is Johnny Fedovich. I am a professional musician, drummer. And robot. Later, after Michael did his stunt stint on Broadway, and I was like, what's Broadway? And I'm like, He's putting a band together, and uh, Giovanni kind of smoothed that over for me to get in with Michael. I am Giovanni Mastro, and I play guitar and sing, and I've known Michael for a long time. He's always been a talented, attention to detail guy, singer, piano player. Knew him when he was a kid. When I was a teenager, I used to watch Giovanni play, and I was like, wow. Yeah, well, he says that, but I don't know. All right, Michael started out as my fan. It's not totally not true, but I'll say it anyways. <laughs> Actually, I met him through Giovanni. I just had auditioned, and then that's it, basically. I'm Billy V. I play bass, and I'm in Chicago. Every show was a new adventure in a different city. Me and the guys love to go out and explore, and we take our music with us. We try to have some fun. Last night we ended up on a piano bar. I went to a piano bar. I've erased that from my brain. I don't, I don't go to piano bars, you know. But, you know, Michael forced me to go last night. <laughs> and everybody get your drinks, hold them up in the air just like this. Get your drinks, hold them up, hold them up, hold them up. I want the whole city of Chicago to know that the party is in here right now. Sing it as loud as you can. Here you go. So sing us. I was working in Vegas at a piano bar and Billy Joel came in to hear me. I saw Michael in, in Las Vegas at the, uh, the New York, New York mm -hmm. uh, sure. piano bar and I said, why don't you try it for the show? I couldn't believe it. He's like the dueling piano bar hero. These guys become like my brothers on the road. You know, we tease each other like brothers and give out nicknames. Johnny's definitely got the most. Like Fetty. Uh, Fetty? Fetty. Fetty. Fed, Fedovich. Or Johnny Fresh. Oh, God. We call the drummer Johnny, we call him Fetty, because it's short for Fedovich. Sometimes on gigs, you know, I have to play really, like, soft, like... 
Johnny Soft Sticks or that's been, that sounds weird. Well, I'm tired. They call me Sleep Sleeperson. Guthrie occasionally has been known as Sleep Sleeperson. Sorry, dude. He won't talk to me for a week if he hears I said that. We really don't have a nickname for Jamie. He's just kind of like the nice guy. Who's, who's that nice? He's like the silent killer. We, we don't know when he's going to like explode out. He's got a, he's got a secret past, I think. <laughs> There's another guy who won't talk to me for at least a month. <laughs> Our fashion guru of the band? Well, that'd be Johnny. Downtown Chicago, go to H&M, grab a pair of black pants, and get back as fast as possible. They're, they're the only pants that fit me. H&M, they, they just, uh, I guess they fit him good. <laughs> I don't know about pants, but I definitely know that Johnny has a scarf for every day of the week. He's not, he's not gonna talk to me ever again. <laughs> That's it, he'll never talk to me again. Sometimes we use sound check to rehearse my original songs. I find your way home, keep it in time. Gotta convince myself I'm still alive every day. I'm still a miles away. One, two, three. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa, for the longest time. Cut. What happened at the end there? We my answer it. We're, we're, we're. I could be taking my kids to school or going to the grocery store, just an everyday guy blending in. But when I'm on stage and that spotlight hits me, something happens. People look at me and say, he's a rock star. <laughs> the ending of that video is still a little, uh, to me. It was a fun little project we did right there. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got a lot more videos coming. Uh, vlog episodes three times a week, plus cover videos, some live stuff. Thanks so much for watching.